Philly Fingers here, playing Chinese 8-Ball. A hybrid of snooker, black ball, and 8-Ball rules. Now let's go over the breaking rules and how different they really are. The four point break rule. On a break shot, a minimum of four balls must either be pocketed or across the head string line or a combination of both. The cue ball is not required to hit any particular ball first. Soft breaks are not allowed. If four balls don't hit a rail, you lose the rack. What happens after an illegal break? The incoming player can accept the table in position, re-rack and break, or re-rack and have their opponent break. In this example, let's accept the table in position. After the break, the table is always open. However, on the first shot after the break, I cannot hit a stripe into a solid or vice versa in order to declare my group. As I attempt my shot, an important rule to remember is that flukes are allowed. There is no need to call shots. The only thing that is required is that we make legal shots. An illegal shot is where after contacting the object ball, it is pocketed or the cue ball and or another ball hits the rail. You can see how easy your opponent can run out when starting with an illegal break. What happens when you make the eight ball on the break? So when you attempt the eight on the break, it is not a win or a loss. You either have to spot the eight ball and accept all balls in position or re-rack and break again. If you scratch while pocketing the eight ball, your opponent can then spot the eight ball with cue ball in hand behind the head string or re-rack and break. In this example, the breaker will spot the eight ball and accept the balls in position. You may not have won by pocketing the eight, but you may have opened up the table and left yourself an easy run out, which will also grant you the win. Now here's an example of a legal break. As you can see, three balls were pocketed and two passed the head string, which is a legal break. Other things to keep in mind when breaking is that any balls that jump off the table on the break stay down. The break rules are very strict in order to make the game very attacking. Three illegal breaks is a loss of a rack. On the fourth illegal break, you lose the rack and also receive a warning. On the fifth illegal break, you lose not just the rack, but the entire match itself. These strict breaking rules are meant to make the game more offensive and to encourage more runouts. Also remembering you're not allowed to play safety where you pocket a ball and pass the turn to your opponent. That said, you can still play defense. It's still an integral part of the game. Matches are typically a race to 13 but also set to a time limit. If tied when time expires, the players will have a shootout. Let's go over the shootout rules. The cue ball is positioned on the head spot, and the eight ball is positioned between the foot spot and the bottom cushion. Players will attempt to pocket the eight ball into any pocket they wish, remembering we don't have to call shots. Players will shoot five shots by turn with a 30 second shot clock for each shot. Whoever scores the most points wins the game. If they're tied after five, they go into overtime. The most common approach is to cut, although it's an extreme cut, into one of the corner pockets. Although keep in mind, since we're not calling shots, you can have a fluke or a double bank and still win the game. That's my take on Chinese 8-Ball. Till next time.